What I'm doing now is untenable. This goes or YouTube goes. And I really feel like this is not as hard of a decision as I was thinking earlier because I just can't live like this anymore. I, I was up almost all night editing a video and it's so unnecessary because I already have like four videos queued up. So unnecessary. I did not need to be up editing last night, but the reason I was is that I needed to get the footage off of my phone so that I could film new videos on like things I wanted to do. Like, and it's just ridiculous. And so some people might like kind of be like, oh, that's so stupid to sell your precious metals to buy a camera, but I just can't live like this. And it's true, like maybe I'll regret it. Maybe next week, gold and sil silver will shoot off and I'll be like, oh, I shouldn't have sold it. But you know what? Like life, I just can't live like this. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to live like this when I'm already working on savings. I'm already working on other things. I don't just need to have this in my closet and live a life of like four hours of sleep of unnecessary editing. So each one would be 67 for those. When, if I have a camera, I can just use the SD cards and get them off and just move on and edit at a more normal time. Uh, 10th ounce ones, we'd be looking at 209. But I think you can only, for myself, I can only go so far. I mean, okay, if I feel safe with this sitting in my closet, God bless me, but if I'm miserable, then what is the point? 10th uh, ounce ones, we'd be looking at 209. I'm just at a point where I really like creating videos. I like sharing. Filming on my phone has become so untenable. Five, uh, one thirty-four, twelve for these ones, and then six twenty-seven for these three together. I mean, to get so emotional, I just get so tired, and it's just the, you know, it's just trying to do what you love, and then trying to support yourself, like you know, and being responsible, and having a full-time job, and doing what I'm supposed to do, and what I need to be doing to personally clean up my bad financial decisions, particularly my van. And it's just exhausting, but I think that this is gonna help. I think if I can just, if I can just not feel that pressure to edit late at night at certain times, I really think that that this will make it possible because this is just the right thing for me to do right now is to YouTube and to work full time. It's not easy, but there is like, I feel like I've grown closer to God lately because of it, because I just feel like I come to the end of myself and I do feel like this is what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Has it been busy lately or? It's, it's on and off, but yeah. Yeah, in general, we've been getting a lot more like bars and coins in just because the gold market's quite a bit higher than it has been. I had to come to Parker's rescue multiple times in there, didn't I, bud? Songs of preteen girls were about to like haul him off almost. Got, oh, it's better than I thought, actually. I actually think I did make a little bit of a profit because the gold price i thought it was down but it was actually up and it was overall now i'm like talking myself out of my decision but you know the thing is the investment isn't money until you like make money <laughs> that more than covers the camera and the accessories i'm gonna use the leftover money to put an extra car payment on the van so i will double up i haven't been doubling up as much lately just because of i don't know just everyday life but I think I'm gonna start doubling up those van payments. So I'm not like anti-gold, I'm not, you know, anti-precious metals by any means, 
but I really do feel like for me to move forward in my financial journey and my YouTube journey, going ahead and selling my medals was the right thing to do. I'm saying that right now, but I know that my sleep is something that I can't compromise anymore. So I think the camera is really going to help my life. Let's move on. I made this promise where I wasn't ever going to eat fast food ever again, ever again. It's a bit humbling, but it is evidence that I have sort of hit the end of it. That be all? Yep, that's all. Did I get a name on the order? It's Claire. Sorry, what was that? Claire. Okay, thank you. I guess I'm gonna have to choose more wisely about the hills I choose to die on. I don't know if I publicly said I'm not eating any more fast food. I'm never spending any money on food outside of food that I make. That was very lofty and that was good, but um, yeah, I'm absolutely famished right now. I got fries, it's so bad for you. I can't believe I did this. I got, um, I got this fish sandwich. This is what I got. I'm gonna eat it. Let's try it. Mmm, it's good. It's really good. Eating on my lovely tray here that I said I explicitly purchased so that it would encourage me to eat all of my own food. This is embarrassing. Right, everyone? Well, I will admit that was absolutely delicious. I feel like Culver's is actually pretty decent food in the fast food arena. I'm still trying to decide on my camping spot for tonight. Part of me is like kind of going back to that part of me that was feeling a little bit hopeless earlier. It was like, I'm just going to go back to the rest area and I'm just going to like edit and I'm just gonna be at the rest area but I'm starting to feel like after I ate I'm starting to feel a little bit like my strength coming back and I'm feeling a little more optimistic so I think maybe we'll go hiking go to and maybe try and try and camp at a trailhead tonight I'm not 100% sure if it's gonna work out but let's let's get things back on the up here I think we can I don't think we have to go down the road. I mean, just because, yes, I broke my rules. Yes, I bought gold and I was like, I'm never gonna sell this gold. And it's, okay, I'm gonna buy like a farm one day. And, I mean, just, <laughs> I mean, okay. All right, good job, Claire. Good long-term goals, good job. I'm never eating fast food again. I'm only cooking every single meal for the rest of my life. Okay, great. Um, but I think that like now I'm like, okay, I didn't meet all of my goals right now, but I think that it's more important at this point just to keep going toward the light. <laughs> like let's not let's not go off on these detours, so to speak, where we're just going and getting this like tunnel vision and I'm not saying don't focus on things, but sometimes I think I in particular I can go a little bit too far. And I think that now it's time to just focus on the positive and let's move forward and see what we can do. Who's been to Duluth? Let us know below. Minnesota, not Georgia. Well, I was planning to walk down that trail, but it looks like rain is imminent. So we may have to head back the other way and figure out our camping spot for the evening. Take the downtown exit.
Lake Superior is truly different. Let us know in the comments below. Have you been to Lake Superior? Yeah, I'll never forget the first time I saw this lake. I'd never seen a Great Lake before. And it's really, so if you have not seen Great Lakes, I really recommend in your lifetime seeing a Great Lake because I think it will surprise you. Mm, so nice right now. Well, as much as I would love to stay here, I know I can't. <laughs> and as much as I would love to keep driving up North Shore Drive, I know that that's just not the best option for me right now. I know that I need to take care of myself and go to bed. And there are simply not spots that I can find around here. There are plenty of spots if you go like really up north, like on North Shore Drive, like towards Gooseberry State Park, there's all kinds of camping options. But I do wanna check out Duluth tomorrow. So I'm like disciplining myself. I'm like, no, we're not going up there tonight. We are not doing that. So I am just gonna go back to the rest area.